everybody and welcome back to a nail polish video with me, Cookie Swirl C. This is part two. In part one, I reviewed and decluttered a bunch of my glitter nail polish. And now we're going into like pure solid colors and some metallics and just really gorgeous polish. So here are all of like my favorite polishes that I've had out on display here. Woo! And I also have this bin of polishes too. Now I'm somebody who loves nail polish. This nail polish is really, really old. That's why we're doing this declutter. I've had some of these polishes, I think over 10 years. So it's definitely time for a declutter. So I'm looking for polish that is separated or discolored or has like a really strong chemical smell or it's just kind of crusty and just, yeah, no good. All right, so here we go. Welcome to part two. Woo! Okay, this is a lot of nail polish. So let's see what is still good and what needs to go. So just looking at the pile, I can already see one that's really bad. Yep, this one right here. This one has really, really separated. So let's see how they look whenever you shake them up and then I will swatch them. <laughs> this one's called, I only eat salads. Give it a swatch. Mm, still looks pretty good. Okay, keep that one. Maybe I should do this declutter by like color. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. All right, since that salad one was green, let's pull out all the greens. Okay, there's some of the greens. And we can't forget about some that are on the little rack, like this one. Oh, believe it or not, this is like supposed to be a mint green. Okay, you can see some of them really need to be shook up. Oh, I remember what happened with this one. Not only does it need to be shook up, and it's very, very old, definitely before I even started my channel, but look at <laughs> another nail polish exploded all over it. All right, let's shake this one up. This one still looks really separated. It's kind of struggling to stay mixed. Oh, it looks kind of nice though, still in the bottle. Ooh, wow. Okay, it still looks good. Okay, this minty one has really separated there on the top. Wow, but what a beautiful, gorgeous color. That one swatches good too. It's like a soft pastel grass green, spring green. Here's another really soft minty green one. This one's called saltwater taffy. That one is so pretty too. All right, I'm gonna swatch these ones, which I don't know why these ones kind of weren't my glitter video. This glittery garland one definitely has glitter in it, but this one does look like a metallic. Okay, these look really separated too. Look at that one. Oh, it's it's got a bunch of something on the top of it. This hot shocking green probably just needs to be shook up. Oh, okay, this green, it looks like a toxic planet. Like there's so much different variations of the green pigment inside of this one. I don't know, can this one be saved? And this one's a really pretty neon green. They all swatched really nice. Okay, so they can all stay. Let's go for yellow. All right, here we go for yellows. Even though this one's kind of an off-white, that one is really transparent and separated there at the top. Probably just need to shake this one up. Now these ones aren't like true yellows, but I think they're yellowy enough. All right, let's shake and swatch. Ooh, this one has a really sticky cap. Oh, okay, that kind of, <laughs> that's kind of crusty. Okay, these ones, the cap just pops right off. Ooh, I love that one. So pretty. All of those ones swatched perfect. All right, here's some kind of brown, kind of shimmery metallicies. How pretty is that? Oh, that one is really separated. Okay, same thing with this one. Okay, the lid was a little loose on this one because I don't think I use this color that much. This one used to be one of my favorites. This one, it's called gold metal. It's just the perfect name for it. This one's so old, but I love it. Look at that holographic shine. Yeah, this one definitely had a loose lid. Oh, oh, okay, I think finally, we found one that is no good. It's dried out, it's sticky, and cannot give a good swatch. Fly away to nail polish heaven. How dreamy is this one? And it's called Chameleon. That one's definitely going to be a color shifter. All right, let's go for those oranges. Okay, so here are all of my orangey-ish shade polishes. Oh no, yeah, that one's been sitting for a very long time. And that one's one of my hollow ones too. So I hope this one still mixes okay. Here's another one I used to use all the time, all the time. It's like a really pretty pastel peach. Same thing with this one. I love this one. Needs a good mix up though. This one called hot tamale needs to also get mixed up as well. Okay, I really tried to mix this one up, but it's really not mixing well. So this one probably expired. Oh, but the swatch is still so nice. What do I do? Yeah, even after mixing up a lot of these, they're still having a hard time kind of coming together and mixing. And the lid just popped 
right off of that one. Okay, the hollow ones are okay, so no need to panic. Let's cool things down with swatching some of the blues. Hopefully we can find some that are a little crusty. I used to use blue all the time. See, I got a lot of blue polish. This one's separated, used to love this one all the time. I used to love wearing it. That's interesting. This one has like almost a completely different color blue on top. That one's really separated. Now this one's interesting because the lid busted a long time ago and so I just taped it. Let's see if there's any hope for this one. A little bit sticky. It's so pretty, but I'm gonna let this one go to makeup heaven. But isn't it pretty? It has like a color shift to it that it goes from like purple to blue to light blue. Okay, this one <laughs> does not look very good here at the top. Very separated, but it still has such a nice Watch. Oh, I love this pastel one, but it's looking kind of sticky. Let's see. You know, I'm gonna keep it because the color is so pretty, but it's it basically should be thrown out. Okay, so the blues surprised me. They didn't mix back very well, but they swatched perfectly fine. Wait, I can't forget about this one. Mint chocolate chip. That one was supposed to be in my glitter one, my glitter declutter. Or did I put that one back on the shelf? Maybe I put it back. Okay, we're done with the blues. Now time for purple. Okay, here we've got my collection of purples, pinks that look basically purple and like berry kind of color. So they may have a slight red lean to them, but I'm still gonna put them in this little cluster. You look at the separation. Okay, this one looks good on this side, but look, ah, yeah completely separated. Ooh, and look at the holographics. I love these. Look at how rich that purple is. It's almost a black, it's like a blackberry. They all swatch good. All right, here we have more rich berry tones and reds. Looks like this one right here may have had a little bit of a leak. This one's called Bloody Mary. A little sticky, oh yeah. This is, probably isn't gonna be any good. Let's see. You know, it's just barely passable, but I can feel that it has a tug to it. So it's really probably not gonna go on all that smooth. But that color, you're one in a melon. See, look how clean the reds are swatching compared to that Bloody Mary color. I think I'm probably gonna have to let that one go. Okay, I have no idea what this is. It looks like a potion bottle. Is that a black nail pop? Oh, is it a nail art brush? I, it looks like an, an art brush, like a nail art brush. Let's swatch. Okay, and with that, we'll just go right into the darker colors and the blacks. All right, so that's what I have here for my black nail polish and some silver. Oops, forgot about these. Oh wait, I got a chromey one right here too. I used to love chrome nails. Oh, okay, something happened to this brush. Does it still swatch okay? Yeah, okay. It's more like a soft black. This one's called licorice. And that one gives a really nice saturated color. So I'm gonna declutter the other black then. Plus that brush was really weird. This pure black color is just called the end. Ooh, look at that pretty color shifter. All right, that one's like a really, really dark green, like as dark as you can go before it turns black. Near dark. Uh, is that a little chunky in there? Okay, I'm really loving these silvers right now. They are just really speaking to me. I think the next time I paint my nails, I'm gonna go for silver. So here's a teeny tiny, I think a little Bonnie Bell one that I've had forever. The cap has discolored. Let's see, is it still good? I don't know, only a swatch will tell. Tiny bit dry, but not bad. I'll keep it still. Now let's swatch the chromey, and I actually have it in silver and I have them in pink. These are super chrome. I used them so much, the bottles are now peeling. My super fans, OG fans, who've been watching for a long time will definitely recognize those chrome nails. All right, so there are my three chromies that I have. They're beautiful. We've almost gone through all my nail polish. Now we just have to check out the pinks and the pearls. Oh wait, and, and whatever this one is, cause it looks like I kind of forgot about that one. Oh, and it's really separated too. This one might be the hottest pink that I have. We have to start with this one. I think I found a dried out one. This one will not mix at all. Let's see. Oh, you guys, the brush, it's so old, it's so dried out. The brush actually got stuck inside of the dried nail polish. You can even see it down at the very bottom. Well, that one went to nail polish heaven a long time ago. And that one, the lid is a little crusty. Oh no, the whole polish is kind of crusty and dry. 
It was dry, but I don't want to throw it out. The hot pink is beautiful. Look at even whenever I like put the cap back on, it has all of these dried flakes all over. <gasps> okay, this one's really, really crusty and dry. There's something crusty on the inside here. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, that one is really dried out. Does it even swatch? I mean, it kind of swatches. It's got bubbles in it though. That's, that's not right. Okay, we need to pull that out. Ew. Ew. I mean, how far down in there does it go? Okay, this one um, also, oh, there we go. Okay, it's just, a, <gasps> it was just a dried cap, but still, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna part with this one. Actually, honestly, all of these caps, oh, that, this one looks crusty. All of the brushes look really crusty. They're really chunky. So like, look at that. There's like a big chunk on there. I don't know. And the lids are just a little dry. I think I have to let this one go too. Oh yeah, here's another really, really dried out one. Yeah, oh, it swatches horribly. So much texture, which it shouldn't have. Oh yeah, another dried out one. Okay, found one. Yep, chunky, even though it does have a little bit of glitter in it. Too chunky. Like, look, look at what you can pick out from the inside. Yeah, too much chunks. Oh, this one, the brush went weird too. But it still swatches good. Here's another one I use all the time. This one was the base for all of my glitter polishes. You can see it's just down to here. Yeah, look at that. Very sticky, dried out. Oh, it's so chunky. Off to nail polish heaven. And oh, look at that one. The minute I even go to take off the lid, look at that stickiness. Oh, but you can't tell in the swatching though. There's just something on the outside of the bottle that's weird. Oh, I forgot. We forgot to check out these kind of like neony reds, which this one wants to turn orange. Oh, and this one has a um, a purple lid bottle here. Okay. Why is it purple on the inside? All right, last category are some of these metallics and these pearl colored ones. This one has really separated. Okay, the metallic is swatched fine. Another one I used to use all the time. And look at that pearl sheen on this one. Those look beautiful. This last one here on the left almost looks like it's glowing in the dark. Well, in the light because it's not dark. So that's it. So I went through and I looked for all the expired nail polish and there actually wasn't as many as I thought. So this is now my nail polish collection. I also have some of my clear polishes just right over there in the corner. I also need to add in some of my newer nail polishes. I have the Jurassic World ones and a few other China Glaze ones too. I've been really into China Glaze lately. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. So happy you're here while I got to do a declutter. Oh yeah.